With us today we have Diesel, and Diesel has a couple issues. Well, first of all is his energy levels, which his owners have not been able to thus far control. Um, and he's just kind of off the charts. He has no manners. He loves to jump on people, which he thinks gets some attention, which up to this point it has. A lot of people think that pushing the dog away and screaming no at them should be indication enough for them that they shouldn't jump on them. But keep in mind, dogs like negative attention. They like it when you tell them no. If they're not getting any other attention from you, they're gonna go for that instead. So we got a couple issues to work with here with this guy. But obviously, <laughs> energy level, pretty good. Okay, come here, buddy. We're gonna work on heel with them. Heel, which he doesn't know. Notice the tight leash right now. And Diesel right now has been cleared by the vet for training, but he does have a little limp. And he's still pulling super hard. So if this dog doesn't have the limp, he, if he didn't have the sprained paw right now, he'd be going off the charts. <laughs> and he can see how much strength he has. That's what we wanna work with. That's what we wanna help his owners control to make him a more manageable, understandable dog. Get his manners in place so we can love him a little bit better. Because right now, he just thinks he gets his attention for all the wrong reasons. Come here, buddy. Diesel. <laughs> Diesel, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Come here, buddy. Fine. Nice. Good job. Diesel, sit. Sit. Oh boy, down. No, down. <laughs> no down command in place. But he did get up on the climb, which is pretty nice. He sat pretty quickly too, but honestly, I'm not sure which he paid attention to, the lift of my hand or my work. So let's try it again. Diesel, sit. Diesel, watch this. Let's see if he does this. Diesel, sit. Sit. So obviously he's picking and choosing when to listen, but I do think he pays attention more to the hand signal than anything else. We're gonna work on getting him under control. I'm looking forward to working with this guy. I'm really looking forward to getting a well-behaved dog back to the owners who's under control that they can love a little bit better. Diesel, wanna go potty? Wanna go play? Come on, big guy. With us today is Diesel. It's been almost two weeks, not quite. It's about 12 days into the program right now, but for those of you who have already seen the before shots of Diesel, you can tell he's a little bit different than he used to be. And he's staying a lot more calm right now than he was previously. Diesel free. One of the big things I've been working on with him, of course, is just control position. Sit, stay, down, stay, uh, healing, the climb command itself, which he's on right now, uh, and just his recall coming to me. And all of these things combined really help control his energy a lot better. If you recall, his energy was really out of control, biting, nipping, jumping at me. Of course, we've worked on all of that too, teaching him not to jump on me, but at the same time, we've also worked on him not mouthing me. And all of that comes out of all these other commands. These other commands are nothing more than communication when you're teaching your dog. You teach your dog to sit, which is great, and that's good and well, but at the end of the day, what we're really trying to do is teach them right and wrong. I want you to do this, I don't want you to do that, because in a dog's world, they only do what works for them. And you have to be gentle, you have to be kind and loving, you can't be harsh with these dogs to make it work. I use a lot of positive motivation while we're going through this, a lot more than I use corrections to make sure that they have a balanced, happy life here with me so they can train well. If I'm too hard on them, or if I were too hard on them, they would simply shut down and they would stop learning and I would get nothing accomplished. So, what I'm gonna do now is show you some of the things we worked on together. Ready? Sit. Three. Yep. When I stop, he should stop and sit beside me automatically, no matter how fast or slow I go, what direction I go, Diesel should be sticking by my side. And now that I've stopped, he is in a sit stay. I haven't told him to sit, I haven't told him to stay, but he knows from his training, that's what he's supposed to do, and he's holding that position. Even though there's something pretty tempting over there, whatever it is, drawing his attention in. As a reward occasion, I'll toss him a little treat, 
I'd like to give it to them not as something for every single thing they do for me, but just a paycheck at the end of the day to say, hey, you've done a great job, and know that there's something good coming if they keep on working for me. That doesn't mean we're training with treats and owners are always gonna have to have the treat for every single thing they do. He's gonna listen regardless, but it's nice to know that for him, that he's gonna get a reward at the end of the day. That it's not all for nothing. That he's not just listening because he has to. He keeps his spirits up, keeps him happy, and keeps him in focus too. The other thing we're working on is loose leash walking, of course. And right now, I haven't given him a command, but I've taught him to stay close to me, even without a treat in hand, even without a treat being offered to him, he's supposed to kind of stay close to me. And I don't want him pulling on the leash. That was one of his big problems with his owner. He was pulling her over almost. He's a big, strong puppy dog. And we gotta make sure that he's not too strong for his owners. He's gonna pay attention to them and stick close by them. Climb command when he's up on here, he can sit, he can lay down, he can pace about it. I don't care what he does while he's up here, he just can't step off. And if he does, there's a correction for that. He learns pretty quickly that he has to stay up there. Oh, boy.